Missile warning is a key component of deterrence. Deterrence is very important because it shows our adversaries that we mean business and that we can appropriately respond to any kind of threats that are coming at the United States. We've been able to operate in a largely uncontested environment up to now, but now adversaries are building capabilities that show us our orbital regimes are being contested. In order to defeat that, we need to look at the way we're doing business and see what kind of changes we need to make to our operating systems and the way that we're fielding these systems. We're talking now about pivoting our missile warning systems to the LEO and MEO layers of the Earth's orbit so that we can better track these different types of capabilities over the course of their operations. Since launch on July 1st, 2022, Wide Field of View has done a number of things to help get to the point we're at now. The data that we're getting from Wide Field of View is really going to inform how we field the MEO Missile Track Program in the future. Right now, it is being processed at the TAP Lab, where they are developing algorithms that will help exploit the information coming from the sensor. We're part of a combined program office between Space Systems Command, Space Development Agency, and Missile Defense Agency. In that, we are looking at how to synchronize and integrate our architectures to best meet a variety of missile warning, missile tracking, and missile defense requirements across a broad spectrum of systems so that we can best characterize events that are happening. Having OPIR sensors in MEO and LEO layers really helps us be able to track dim, fast-moving targets better than we have in the past. The pivot of missile warning and missile tracking is here. And Wide Field of View is really going to help transition the missile warning architecture to defeat new and emerging threats.